In the last uh, years, in the last seven years since I'm FIFA president, we managed to increase the investments in every country by a factor of seven. We multiplied by seven what every country receives. Now every country in the world receives eight million US dollars as a minimum. Every year in the past it was one million and a few hundred thousand. Every, uh, sorry, in a four year cycle. And this money is invested in developing the game. I would say in particular, women's football, I will come back uh, to that. It's important to say that we multiplied it by a factor of seven. Why? To show you that we do manage the finances of FIFA in an appropriate and transparent way. Because our revenues, of course, didn't, mul didn't multiply by seven. They didn't even multiply by a factor of two. They, multi they increased a little bit. But money today simply doesn't disappear anymore in FIFA. Money goes where it has to go in developing the game. And today we have over 180 countries in the world who have as well women's football. This was uh, 120 before I arrived. And it is important that this happens because uh, it is crucial for the development of uh, our society. So. If uh, I'm here today, it is also thanks to uh, a discussion we were having earlier in the summer or in the spring, actually, before the Women's World Cup, where I expressed some uh, concerns about uh, some of the investments in uh, uh, the Women's World Cup, since many media outlets were criticizing FIFA. Why do you pay the men? 10 times more than uh, the women. Well, because we get paid actually 100 times less for the women. So if we pay them just 10 times less than the men, we still pay them 10 times more than what we are paid ourselves in terms of uh, revenues. Now, this has changed and is changing. Obviously, we increased the prize money for the Women's World Cup. When I started, or before I started, it was 15 million, now it's 150 million, and we are going to increase it even more. But it's not just about the prize money, it's about the investment in women's football, in the women's game. Let's be creative, let's work together, let's promote women's football with uh, one hour per week, at least, of uh, transmission that we can develop together, creating uh, role models, bringing uh, to all the families in uh, your respective countries, these, uh, uh, these fantastic athletes, these great events, this great game. And let's do this all together, because the message that uh, I want to give here is that uh, we are here to unite. As we say, football unites uh, the world, but uh, we are here as well to work together with you in unity, to find creative solutions, to find impactful ways of promoting women's football, in particular, men's football, obviously, as well.